All right, guys. So today I have Ajahn Greg Nelson. He's gonna show us some really good clinching technique using a lot of um, close hand quarter combat concepts. Okay. All right. So basically, what we've really been focusing on this weekend is off balancing, and we're gonna be off balancing with this kind of opposite left right positioning. I'm stepping in with my left leg, but I'm using my right hand to off, to off balance. So a lot of times what's happening is I'm hitting my curved knee, he's hitting a curved knee. I hit a curved knee, he hits a curved knee. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time that curved knee when he comes in, I step in. All right, now I pull him on top of me and see where his balance is going, he's starting to hop. Right there, all I gotta do is turn my body. Now look where his body is. Boom, I'm in a perfect position to, to knee. So it's really timing that. And I can do the same concept without waiting for that knee. Maybe I knee, boom, and I, and I stifle him. Then I step in and I pull him on top of me and I turn and then I get him knee again. So the concept is I'm stepping in with my left or lead knee, right? And then I'm pulling him on top of me and see I'm getting him on his toes. Once he's on his toes, he's easy to turn. And once I turn him, He's in the perfect position to, to knee. So that's kind of the, the rough concept and it happens very quickly. And again, a lot of times it might be as soon as we touch, we're like this, we touch and I go, oh, wait. <laughs> as soon as I touch him, I already hit that knee. So it can happen very yes, fast, very fast. So again, that's the, the nuts and the bolts of it. Stepping in with my left, but pulling with my right. But the biggest thing is loading the person up on top of you. So they're getting up on their toes. It, essentially it's, Kazushi in judo. Mm -hmm. And your hands are sort of monitoring and kind of feeling what my body does? Yes, so the, the hands are really feeling the energy, feeling what's going on, feeling yes, the pressure, whether they're trying to pull, whether they're driving into the right, to the left. So a lot of times I'm here, I could be on a neck, I could be in any position, oh, all right? Mm -hmm. Wherever I'm at, or he has inside position, and I'm here, but I'm still feeling that energy. It doesn't matter, yes, sir. all right? So he could have totally inside position, and I'm I'm mean, he means I still nice. still able to off balance them. Yes, sir. All right, because the concept is still the same. The principle is still the same of getting them onto their toes too far forward and then spinning them over that foot. How would you say Wen Chun can help in this type of a training? Well, essentially, if you look at our, our hand position, mm. look familiar? Folks out. Boom, yes, sir. it's right there, I have this. It could be on the neck, I could have it on the shoulder, I could have it on the arm. Oh, it's like chi sao. Yes, so right here, nice. I'm moving around and I'm feeling where his arms are going and kind of pushing and pulling with that. So you sort of off balance me the whole time. Yes, so biggest thing, I do this uh, in Jiu Jitsu, I do this in wrestling, I do this in Muay Thai, I do this wherever. I'm constantly thinking about where the hole is, where he has to, step in to get his balance so if so, i'm here if i go like this there's oh, the hole. Nice. then i pull the nice. hole then i pull the hole <laughs> nice. then i'm pulling the hole then i step in and i roll around and i pull the hole again so i'm always and that tires you out because you're constantly trying to find your balance trying to find your base yes sir they do it in wrestling it's done in muay thai mm. it's done in judo it's constantly forcing the person to you know basically fill in the hole that i just created for them so your base is constantly trying to create a ba off balance position. Mm -hmm. So that way you have a position, you can throw the knee, throw the takedowns, maybe control the head for whatever. Whatever. You want to do. whatever. And the biggest thing too is this energy, right? This thing right here. So I'm right here and I, this is constant. Mm -hmm. So now once I have this, this is pretty. I can't move. Yeah, this is pretty much nice. Wing Chun, right? Yeah, because it feels solid. Yeah, I'm it moving gets... around. I got my elbows blocking you out. I'm feeling which I... way you want to go. I'm, I'm right. stopping you. You can't elbow with that I side. You can't yeah. punch with that side, right? Over here, I'm taking this one out too. You may have my arm here, but look at when you try to do anything. I, I can't do anything. I'm right here. I'm monitoring that as well. Oh, nice. So I'm constantly monitoring. Then maybe I go here. Now look at I've oh, loosened up nice. my my arm. Same thing over here. I might be over here at this point. Oh, oh hey, nice. Nice. You see how fast that comes up? Now mm -hmm. I get my elbow. So I can go whoop. There it is. That's all the space I need. Because now look at boom. Then I can come right come back, back to that control. position. Here. Oh, what oh was nice. That? Little things are right there. Yes. Or was it Thai boxing? I don't know. <laughs> All right. So the principles are really across Similar. the board. All right. Sensitivity and feel, sensitivity and feel, doesn't matter where I'm at. Yes, right? sir. And that's why I, uh, one of the things that I always talk about 
uh, when people say, well, how does this help that? How does Wing Chun help this or this help that? To me, it's, it's the principle of energy and feel, right? And when you have an art like Wing Chun that isolates that and really forces you to, to break down those real subtle nuances of energy, Sir. then all of a sudden when you're grabbing a neck, that's not this. Yeah. This can move all over very fast. And Essentially, I just place my neck with an arm. Yes, and mm. now when I go this, but now your neck doesn't move as fast. Nice. Yes, sir. I have way better control now because I'm used uh, to trying to monitor this. That makes sense. So wherever this is going, I'm like, oh, no, I can't let this come towards me. Mm. Right? This doesn't move it so much. That's so true. now I'm going to have a better sense of how to control that neck because I got so good or so used to monitoring even this That's good. motion. Oh, wow. So I do that in jujitsu. I do that all the time. The person's trying to grab my collar and I'm like, oh, oh nice. not going to let you have it. Not going to give it to you. All right. So it's the same thing. Oh, even, no. oh nice. That look like, oh, nice. like that's what, look exactly what we did today, right? Sir. Oh, you like kick. Yes. So it's the same principle. You're coming in to grab. I go here. Mm. Right. Now when I wrestle, I'd be here. You go to grab. Nice. There it is. Now I got that, that opening. So now I have a, a potential opening. Now all of a sudden, I, you see me do this, where do you want to go? I want to, oh, nice. And then I'm going to feel that. And, and it's this energy and feeling where the person's going. And you, you feel in the hole. Yeah, you feel in the hole. Constantly feel in the hole. That's amazing. And that's, I think that's where the principles of Wing Chun just. That's a great, great way to think about doing Chi Sa. Not always with the arm, but with different limbs and yes, body parts. 100%. Yes, sir. Perfect. That was amazing. Thank you, awesome. John. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you.